a continuation of our virus videos. In 1884, French microbiologist Charles Chamberlain invented the Chamberlain filter that contains pores smaller than bacteria. He could then pass a solution containing bacteria through the filter and completely remove them. In the early 1890s, Russian biologist Dmitry Ivanovsky used this method to study what became known as the tobacco mosaic virus. His experiments showed that extracts from the crushed leaves of infected tobacco plants remain infectious after filtration. At the same time, several other scientists showed that, although these agents, later called viruses, were different from bacteria and about 100 times smaller, they could still cause disease. In 1899, Dutch microbiologist Martinus Bajerink observed that the agent only multiplies when in dividing cells. He called it a contagious living fluid, or a soluble living germ because he could not find any germ-like particles. In the early 20th century, English bacteriologist Frederick Tour discovered viruses that infect bacteria, and French-Canadian microbiologist Félix Durel described viruses that, when added to bacteria growing on agar, would lead to the formation of whole areas of dead bacteria. Counting these dead areas allowed him to calculate the number of viruses in the suspension. The invention of the electron microscope in 1931 brought the first images of viruses. In 1935, American biochemist and virologist Wendell Meredith Stanley examined the tobacco mosaic virus and found it to be mainly made from protein. A short time later, this virus was shown to be made from protein and RNA. A problem for early scientists was that they did not know how to grow viruses without using live animals. The breakthrough came in 1931 when American pathologist Ernest William Goodpasture and Alice Miles Woodruff grew influenza and several other viruses and fertilized chickens' eggs. Some viruses could not be grown in chickens' eggs. This problem was solved in 1949 when John Franklin Enders, Thomas Huckle Weller, and Frederick Chapman Robbins grew polio virus in cultures of living animal cells. The second half of the 20th century was a golden age of virus discovery, and most of the documented species of animal, plant, and bacterial viruses were discovered during these years. Over 6,000 species of viruses have been described in detail. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!